What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, I know, I know, another video starting in the car, you know, it is what it is. Welcome back to another week in the life of a reseller. It should be a pretty, pretty busy week. Uh, we have over 100 pairs at home that we have to list and sell and clean and all that kind of stuff. It's been a super, super, super busy last couple weeks. I should be free for a couple weeks just to kind of stay at home and sell some stuff. So that's what we're gonna kind of do this, uh, this video is just clean a lot, post a lot, sell a lot. Not too much buying, but I will be doing buying here and there. I just got back from Kobe swap me uh, like two days ago So we have a ton of inventory from that that I have to clean right now I'm off my way to go to Home Depot to pick up some boxes because I need like 15 20 boxes to ship some stuff out for today Okay, so I got a little bit hungry before I went to Home Depot pick myself up a beautiful holy spicy deluxe sandwich So I'm gonna eat that I give you guys the first little look here. Let's see what we're working with Ooh, Beautiful bro got the nice little bun the meat chicken thing hey man i'm about to i'm about to i'm about to enjoy this thoroughly and respectfully um you know also had to get the half sprite half lemonade and the fries so i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna go to home depot and start working all right just pulled up to the home depot you gotta see it right there let's uh cross their fingers that they have boxes left over because i know the last few times they haven't had too many boxes so fingers crossed that they have them all right so they ended up having the boxes so that's a good sign i have like 20-ish boxes to pack up all going to ups so i finally made the change over to ups finally i was just super tired of the post office losing my packages and there was nothing i could do about it so it's easier i could just have to go to one place now it's a little bit more expensive but it's worth it in the long run so yeah um i'm gonna go home and package up these boxes all right so i just got back home and unloaded the boxes but i gotta show you guys another reason why i've been pretty busy you know i've been taking care of a child lately uh this is the new homie right here what's up say what's up let me shake your hand let me shake your hand all right yeah so say what's up guys uh this is franco he's kept me up for the last three nights in a row i got him like four days ago uh absolutely exhausted but hey you know we got the og over there what's up bruno yes sir put him there dog yes sir so yeah this is pretty much the reason why i haven't been sleeping lately bro stop biting me bro look at this dude bro so yeah, I'm gonna try to go start cleaning some shoes, or not cleaning some shoes, packing up some boxes, and also making sure this guy does not poop on my floor. All right, so bringing you guys into my room, it is an absolute disaster, I'm just running out of floor space. So this is everything that we need to take pictures of. This is everything that needs to be cleaned slash iced. That's everything that needs to be shipped over there. And then this rack, and this rack is everything that needs to be sold. To say the least, we have a lot to do. I'm extremely backed up. Let's, let's start packing up some boxes. Okay, so the room is a little less cluttered now. You guys can see it. I put all the pairs I just packaged up. It took me like an hour and a half-ish. Um, they're all in the hallway out there because they just don't fit in here. Plan is drop it off, come back home, and then start cleaning all these pairs. And hopefully, hopefully, by tonight, I can take pictures of all these and all these. And then... I can kind of chill out a little bit because it has been a lot of work to clean this many shoes. We have a few shoes to ice. I think we have like three, three for sure. I know we need to ice for sure. So hopefully we can do that tonight. I don't know, but I got to stop talking and get going. All right, just got all the boxes loaded up. Shout out to the new cart. Bang, bang. See that? See that maneuverability? All the boxes are in the car. I had to take my mom's car because my car's a little too small. So I got to go head over to just UPS now instead of both postal service and there. I'm going to put this cart in, in front of my house. Hopefully no one steals it. I'm going to leave them right right there all right you stay there all right let's go drop off these boxes all right so i just dropped off everything at the postal or ups it was 23 packages so thank you guys so so much for ordering shoes from me you guys don't have to be ordering shoes from me you guys can go order from ebay stockx but you guys chose to shop with me so hey i appreciate you guys you know i'm trying to give the best deals i can and yeah i appreciate you guys every single one of you if you've ever bought shoes from me sold for me watch the videos like the picture commented something dm me Thank you guys. So yeah, I just finished dropping off all those packages. Now I'm gonna go home, maybe chill for like an hour and then get ready to start cleaning shoes because we have like 25 pairs of shoes to clean. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to say the least. All right, good to see no one stole the cart. That's a plus. And now we're just gonna go back to my room. All right, so it's the next day. I didn't get a chance to clean last night. The dog kept me up all night. So I had to take care of that. No one got my cleaning stuff here. Got the, the soap can thing towel in the bucket and everything i say in this video that i use for cleaning and stuff will be linked down in the description because i know you guys want to know where it is i get comments at least every single video of where i get my stuff so hey i made it easy for you links in the description if you want to go cop some stuff but yeah we have a uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eight, 
We have 18 pairs of shoes to clean and ice. Uh, just show you guys what I'm gonna be using today. We got this uh, this Jason Mark foam cleaner. Personally, this is my favorite one. I just feel like it smells the best. Cotton rounds, essential as always. And then we have some nail polish remover. That's mandatory every time you guys know about that. And then some Q-tips, some dryer sheets to get the smoke smell out of the shoes. And then Salon Care 40, acetone, super glue. That we need that today, but we have it just in case. I'm gonna start cleaning these shoes and probably pop on a podcast or something to enlighten my mind while I clean. All right, so a few hours have gone by. I'm gonna show you guys some of the progress that we've made on some shoes. I cleaned this whole, this stack right here. I think most of this stack I cleaned. These cleaned up pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Look at that. Look at the bottoms, super clean. Take the other side, clean insoles, clean bottoms. You know how we do it out here. And we are working on these royal toes that were kind of disgusting, um, but a little less disgusting now. I uh, still have to take out that creasing and the socklet on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. This is taking a lot longer than expected because this dog just keeps coming into my room and asking for stuff. It won't go to sleep. So I need to make sure it's not chewing on anything and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's super fun. Uh, but we're almost done. We have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs left to clean. I think we should be able to knock it out hopefully within the next two hours. So I'll try to keep you guys updated on the progress of everything and show you guys a final result when we're all done with everything. All right, so the time is currently 5.45 p.m. I have no idea when I started. I had a few hiccups in the way, a few distractions, but we pushed through and we finally finished cleaning everything. I don't know how many pairs I have right here, but uh, it's a lot. Only pair I didn't clean is that one. It's just, eh, you know, whatever. Everything else is clean. Those pairs up there are clean. I'm just waiting for these to dry off before I put them in the boxes. If you put the shoes back in the boxes when they're still wet they'll get mildew if they're in the box for too long and i don't want someone opening up some shoes they bought for me and they have mildew on them so make sure you dry off your shoes before you put them back in the box i'm gonna wait for these pairs to dry eat some dinner and then i'm gonna come back over here pick up the camera and start posting all these pairs or not posting uh taking pictures of all the pairs that should probably go way into tonight because i have a lot of shoots to take pictures of all right what's up guys so it's currently the next day i didn't really record last night uh because i didn't do much i got caught up you know doing puppy duties and stuff like that right now i'm on my way to go to like target or something like that to go pick up some sticky notes because i kind of get i get them mixed up because there's so many shoes in my room that i don't remember which ones i took pictures of so each one i'm going to take a picture of i'm going to put a sticky note on so I know not to touch that one and it just saves time. We're gonna go pick those up and hopefully it makes this day go by a little easier. All right, we got 400 sticky notes secured. This should be enough for the day. So yeah, now it's time to go home and start taking pictures of everything. So uh, we're back home now. I'm about to start taking pictures of everything. We also got a special guest. Uh, I just walked out of the room. Yeah, he didn't want to do the deal anymore. We're gonna do a nice little deal, but then he got scared, camera shy. Um, you know what happened to the best of us guys because we're just not all that confident. Um, everybody go down in the description right now and go to Mr. Aaron's Instagram page and tell him to be more confident, bro. Believe in yourself. All right, thank you guys so much. All right, so I still have yet to start taking pictures yet. I really need to do that. But we got three go orders we need to ship out, so I'm gonna show you guys what we made on them and what we sold. First pair we sold, got an SB box. We got these Magnus Walker Dunks. Bought these for 300 at Kobe Swap Meet. Sold them for 370 on GOAT. Got these neutral gray one lows or highs. Loki thought we could do a little bit better on these, but we only profited 25. And we got the, who's this? Uh, he got camera shy again, man. He just gets nervous, guys. You know, you can't blame him. Uh, and then we got these. We bought them for 60, sold them for 75 on GOAT. So that's $15 profit there. So yeah, I'm gonna pack all these up and we're gonna go ship them out. All right, so I just packed up all those boxes, but we just got a trade-in that we're doing for some off-white fours. I'll show you those in a second. Uh, but we just got this box in. Actually, you know what, let me grab them. So we're actually trading these off-white fours, size nine, for everything in this box. But I wanna show you these shoes first. Literally almost brand new looking. Uh, stars on the bottom. I don't, honestly don't remember if I picked them up in this video or not. We paid a thousand for these shoes, so keep that in mind. Now let's open up this box. Where's my knife? All right, let's see. Also, we have Mr. Bossman in the room. Aaron, you wanna say what's up, man, to the, to the people, man? What's up? Yes, sir, man. Congratulations, I heard. Huh? I said congratulations. On what? I don't know, bro. Make, people just need to be congratulated every now and then. Appreciate it. All right, so we got a nice little note here just explaining what the trade was and his address that I probably don't want to show that. Uh, size five and a half, Sail Dark Mocha. Here they are, got a size five and a half Mocha one. Brand new. These go for like almost five, actually I think they do go for $500. So that's one shoe. Next shoe, a size nine, White Black University. We got a pair of the infamous, everybody talks about them, the University Jordan 1s. So we got those, and a 9 could probably go for like 
a little under $400, maybe like $390. We have a Dunk versus Air Force One undefeated box. And we got a pair of the, I honestly don't even know. Do you know what the name of these are, Aaron? The blue ones? Interesting shoe, or the quality of the materials are really nice in this shoe. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like it was poor execution. But I don't know, we got those as well. I think those are hidden for like 200-ish, a little around 200, maybe a little bit below. And then last but not least, we have another Jordan 1 box. We got another sailed black dark mocha. And boom, yeah, here it is, another dark mocha. So I'm gonna go through and let you check all these real quick. And if everything's good to go, um, I'm gonna pay the dude out and ship him his off-white fours. All right, I apologize about my hair, but we can't go to the post office just quite yet. Uh, everything that we got in that trade is real, so we're good to go. I gotta ship that out probably. I, I'm gonna try to get it out today, but I can't go until someone gets home to watch the dog because I can't leave it alone. But until then, I'm gonna start taking pictures of everything. I already have about maybe seven-ish over there that I already took pictures of. Um, so I'm gonna be putting a sticky note on those. Uh, shout out to uh, the rainbow, rainbow people. Nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go put some uh, sticky notes on the ones I already took pictures of and then start taking pictures of all these. Okay, so I finally got a chance to go drop off the packages at the, po uh, not the post office, UPS. Uh, I packaged up the fours for the trade, so those are gonna be out today. So, you know, who else does same day shipping? Uh, no one. Actually, maybe Amazon, but you know, we're not as big as Amazon. But yeah, we're gonna get those out today. Then I'm gonna go home and finish just taking pictures of the shoes, like I've been saying for like a minute now. But we're actually gonna do it because we have to post them all by tonight. Just finished uh, taking pictures of everything. You can see the fat stack behind me with all the pink slips on them. Feels good to finally finish. I have no idea when I started, but it's almost eight o'clock right now. So roughly two, three hours-ish. Um, there were a few shoes that I just didn't take pictures of because I just, like I kind of paid too high. So I was like, you know, I'll just break even on it. I think there was only like one, one or two pairs that I did that on. For example, let's see, like these. Um, they literally only sold like three times on eBay. So I'm just gonna take my chances with Goat and StockX uh, or my Instagram page. I think there were some charcoal nines that is listed up on Goat because it was a little higher. Always, always check your platforms when you're when you're listing stuff up because sometimes one platform might be a little bit higher, like $10, $15 more. That's more $10, $15 more in your pocket. So for example, I bought these UNC sixes, brand new um, from someone and they were going for like 350 on StockX and I sold them for almost 480 after payout on GOAT. So that's pretty good. Um, that's literally oh, 100 and something dollars more than StockX. So always check your apps um, for prices and stuff like that. I'm gonna go sit in my bed for probably another two hours-ish to list everything up on eBay and all that kind of stuff. And tomorrow we have another pretty big day. Uh, we already made a few sales that we have to ship out. Um, can't get into it a little bit because you know it's not for this video. But tomorrow we have a story sale on Instagram that I posted about. So if you guys ever wanna buy shoes from me, uh, you guys already know by now. Instagram will be up on the screen. I will see you guys whenever I pick up the camera again, probably tomorrow morning or when I'm done posting in my bed. All right, we are finally done. It is now 9.30. So it roughly took like an hour and a half, not too bad. But yeah, I'm done for the day, I'm clocking out. Hopefully some stuff sells when I wake up in the morning. Uh, we can ship that out tomorrow. If not, that's tough, but I'm going to sleep. All right, so I woke up like 30 minutes ago. It is now 7.30, Friday. So yeah, woo, Friday. Sneakers had the second chance to draw this morning for the oreo fours and the sea foams um and you can see they just sent the results um not selected uh like usual so shout out nike i uh, love you guys so much um but yeah i'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for today because we have a lot of shoes to sell all right so we just sold a few pairs of shoes we just sold these jordan one mochas that we literally got yesterday uh we made 190 bucks on them pretty pretty happy with that we sold these two i think the other pair of mochas size 5.5 we told us for a 200 dollars profit so that was even better um so yeah i'm gonna pack those up um and probably ship them out towards the end of the day because we have all this to post on the instagram right now like 100 100 ish pairs 80 90 something i don't know all right so it's been about two hours you can see the stack below, behind me is kind of gone now and it's all transferred to here this is everything i've taken pictures of thus far and those six right there rest still has not yet to be posted but my phone is literally like going slow because of the amount of messages that i'm getting right now so i'm gonna try to go through that charge my phone up and then probably like in 30 minutes or so uh get back to it also first of all we sold our first uh sale for this sale on my instagram today uh these unc ones sold them for 320 um if you know the market you know that's a steal so <laughs> you know if you want steals you guys already know where to shop bro 
we get steals, we give steals, and it's just a never happy and living cycle. So yeah, I'm gonna go charge my phone for a little bit and get back to it. All right, so we're going to drop off uh, two of the packages at UPS. Uh, I had a third one, but it was for the post office. I didn't even notice. And the post office closed 20 minutes ago, so uh, that's not really gonna work too well. All right, so it's the next morning. This is the stack of shoes we sold yesterday. I haven't got through everything yet, but I'm gonna do that in a second to show you guys how much we made. Uh, you can see the stack got a lot smaller since yesterday. Still a lot of pairs left, but you know, slowly but surely they're starting to sell. So yeah, I'm gonna go through these real quick and show you guys what we made. So I'm gonna show you guys what we sold real quick. Um, starting off these these Jordan 1 Fearless. Um, bought them at SneakerCon Denver. Uh, paid 170. I made I think roughly like 40 bucks. These Toro or not Toro Raging Bull Fives. Uh, we sold these on eBay for $65 profit. A pair of Yeezys here. Cloud White Reflectives. I honestly don't think we made much off these because they kind of overpaid or they went down. Either one, I don't remember. Uh, I think we made like $25 on these. <laughs> these i think we made like 30 on these bunkai's i've had these for a minute just sitting um just got rid of them i think i made like five bucks on those tail lights we made 65 on those masters we made 70 uh indigo 12s brand new we made 60 ash pearls we made 15 or 20 bucks whoa sand topes i think we made like 25 the undefeated dunks the the new ones i remember i was about to buy a pair from my boy uh Shrek in seattle for a thousand before they released. Good thing I didn't, because they go for a hundred dollars now. Uh, UNLV Dunks, I think we made like 40 on these. 11 and a half Ash Pearls. What did we make on these? I think we made like 40 on these for 30, 35, 40, <laughs> something around there. University Ones, we made like a hundred dollars on these. Shadow 2.0s, we made 50 on those. Spartan Dunks, we made I think 40 on those as well. And last but not least, 2019 bread 11s or 2020 bread 11s. I don't, honestly don't remember. Uh, we made 60. Yeah, we made 60 on these. So I have no idea how much that is, but it was a pretty solid day yesterday. Um, hopefully, we could sell a little bit more today and ship those on Monday. Let's see how many we sold. We sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pairs of shoes yesterday. So not too bad for a Saturday or Friday night. I'm going to go pack all these up. And we're gonna get them out because I have some other stuff to do today that's not gonna be recorded, so. All right, just finished packing everything up. You guys can see right there. Now I gotta wait to go to the UPS store, waiting because there's no one to watch the dog. Uh, so I have to wait for someone to come home so we can watch them so he doesn't poop or pee somewhere that he's not supposed to. Uh, and I can go drop these off with not stressing about that. So yeah, I will update you guys then. All right, just filled up the car with all the boxes. We have one to the post office that I did on accident and uh, the rest of them are, the, are going to the UPS. Um, but before that, we have to go get gas because I am like literally running on fumes. Yeah, dude, we were really close. I hope we make it to the gas station. I think we should because my house to the gas station is kind of like downhill. So, you know, momentum type physics, physics and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, uh, yes. All right, we made it to the gas station. Check it out, man. Look at that full tank. Uh, and I'm just gonna go drop these off. And then I am done for the day. Um, Nice. All right, all packages have been dropped off. So now it's time to go home. I think I have one more order I have to pack up, but it's probably not gonna go out today, but I'm gonna do it now just to get it over with. And then I have no idea really what else I'm gonna record. So you guys will see. All right, what's up guys? It is now Monday not much went on yesterday. We sold a few things, but I didn't record it because I was saving it for today. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. We sold a few things. We sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pairs. First pair we hear we sold on goat. These free 99 dunks, we made 40 bucks on those. We sold these Jordan 9 charcoals for $65 or $65 profit, not $65. We sold these for $30 profit. Can't tell you how much we sold those for because it's not for this video. We sold these for a $55 profit. These for a $50 profit. These right here, they're at the bottom, but there's some Jordan 5 Fire Reds. And we also sold them for a roughly $60 profit. So it was a pretty good day yesterday. I'm not complaining at all. I'm pretty happy with it actually. And yeah, so we're gonna go get those out today, probably this morning. So yeah, I'll update you guys if anything else happens. All right, got the package loaded up. Uh, I actually had three more shoes that I put in here. It was a pair of Air Force Ones, uh, Zoom Air, uh, sorry, there's a cop literally right in front of me trying to make it low key. Uh, <laughs> it was a pair of uh, Zoom Air, uh, Zoom Jordan Ones, the Fearless Ones. We sold those for a $40 profit. Two pairs of Air Force Ones for $15 profit each, um, and then the other ones that I can't tell you which. But honestly, a really good day. It's Monday, usually Mondays don't sell that well because everybody's back to work and stuff like that. So super happy uh, that we got a whole bunch of orders out today. So I'm gonna get these orders out real quick and uh, pick up the camera back when I get home. All right, what's up guys? So I just picked up three pairs of shoes. I didn't bring the camera, 
because I was already out and then the deal happened. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. We picked up these Kobe Undefeateds for 370, I believe, 360s, three something like that. Uh, brand new, the Undefeated pack, Kobe 4s. Um, yeah, pretty sick. So shout out Kobe for the money. Um, thank you. It's what he would have wanted, guys. You know, Kobe was about making his bread, so. And then we got a pair of Unis. Got a pair of the Off Noirs. I absolutely love this pair. I would have kept it if it was my size, but it's not, sadly. Um, but, dude, beautiful shoe. So, yeah, we got these for 670 Market is around um, 900 on those. There's a pair of the Guavas in a size 10.5, brand new. Pick those up for 670 as well. They go for roughly the same amount. Estimated profit roughly on that deal. I spent like 1700 1750 um, should be looking at around 2,200 ish, 2,100, 2,200 around there. So that's a pretty good return. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go to sleep, uh, and I'll pick up the camera in the morning. All right, what is up guys? It is the final day of me recording this video. We have a few sales that we made the other day or yesterday. So we got some UZ380 Onyx that we sold for like a $35 profit and then five pairs of Air Force Ones, $15 profit on each of them. So pretty good on there. Only paid $60 for the Air Force Ones, so that's a pretty good profit margin. So yeah, I'm gonna pack these up real quick and we're going to get them out. All right, we're loading up the car real quick. So after I get back from the post office, unfortunately guys, the time has come. I know, I know you guys don't want it to end, but unfortunately I have to end the video because I have another video that I'm gonna start recording today. And it wouldn't make sense if I kept on recording this video and that video at the same time. I'm going to go to the post office, come back, and end this video. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But good news is I have, like, 15 videos stacked up. So, you guys don't have to worry about me not uploading for another three weeks again. So, we're good to go. All right, just dropped off all those packages at UPS. Honestly, ever since I changed to just shipping to UPS, life has been going great. Because I don't have to rush to uh, ship the shoes up at 5. UPS closes at 7, so that's fantastic. I get receipts every time now. Because I don't have to wait in line at the, like, the post office. And drop them off at the dock. They haven't lost any packages yet. This is not an ad for UPS. Although, if UPS wants to throw a bag my way, hey, I will very willingly do that. But yeah, let's go home and let's wrap this video up. Alright guys, the time has come. I know, I know, everybody's so sad. Let me pick this little thing up. The time has finally come to say our goodbyes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you didn't, hey man, that's tough. It's whatever. But I would really appreciate it if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm and all that. It helps the channel grow and helps me feed this little thing right here. So that would be super awesome. Also, if you guys wanted to connect with me on Instagram or buy shoes for me or sell for me or sell to me, my Instagrams will be on the screen right now. Um, can we stop that? Yeah, but with all that being said, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on, do the thing. Do it. Yeah. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more. Yeah, I have been rolling a dojo. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold up a fold. Yeah.